So today I'm going to be showing you all a haul of Flory Roberts um, makeup products. Let's get into this look that I created. Basically, most of the items that I've used on my face are from the brand Flory Roberts. And I just want to show you how amazing these products are, how well they wear, and how I created this look. We're also going to talk about the hair. Okay, we're going to talk about the hair because, baby, I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair. Let's get into it. Okay, it's giving classy, elegant, but simple, updo. So let's get into this look. It is actually giving Jasmine from Aladdin, okay? Tell me this doesn't look like Jasmine from Aladdin. I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna insert a little clip where, um, let me also just maybe try to get the angle right of the camera, you know? Let me get my angles, chat, girl, girl. Tell me it's not a little bit, a little bit reminiscent of Jasmine from Aladdin. What you know, what you know, baby girl. Okay, she has that classic like bangs that are swept away from her face in into a little bit of a braided updo or whatever it is. And the blue, the bluey starry midnight eye. So first off. Um, I'm going to show you this amazing um, blush that I copped from Flory Roberts. It's there. You can see it, right? Flory Roberts. Okay. It's in the shade camera. Oh my God. It's not picking up. I've already got on some. I really like how a little goes a long way with this blush. It's so pigmented. The more melanated, it can be really difficult for um, pigment to show up on our skin. I'm going to show you a little swatch like I know you're in denial, but I know you saw it. I know you saw it. So I'm just gonna add that onto my cheek. It's the direction. So I'm gonna smile, and then I'm gonna put it all the way up my cheekbone. Okay. So I'm gonna smile to get the highlights. Okay. And then what I also like to do. Can you see the color show? Color pay off, baby. And so what I like to do, I like to put some of my blush onto my nose as well. Not too much. Like my nose should not be pink. Or mauve okay but I mean I just like to add a little bit on the nose to just give it a little bit of extra there so that my nose is not isolated and looking not part of the berry glow okay I used to like to overdo it with my blush I still kind of do but I like to think I've toned down a little bit now I smile again and just yeah all the way up some through the nose and like let's get it nice and pigmented for the camera so you guys my good are you i know you peed that my goodness okay so she retails for 15 dollars. but um when i went into the store okay they're situated at join city mall okay they're situated at join city mall and normal price that it retails for is 15 dollars. but when i went there they were having a promotion so i got it for 13 dollars for that color payoff so you guys Every month, I have a specific area of my life that I try to improve. Where am I going to be spending a little bit of money on, this and that. And so, I felt it was time to restock some of the items in my makeup, all right? Uh, I felt some of the items were outdated, expired, and I just wanted to try some new things. So, this is a nice switch up. I like the mauve shade, the deep pink, the berry that's going on here. This is a nice change. I had actually been to Flory Roberts um, previously and I copped a couple of items, but I told myself the next time I do makeup shopping, I'm definitely coming to pick up the foundation. I saw in store a live model who was having her makeup done and the finish on this foundation sold me instantly. Like, I don't know if it's translating well on camera the way it does in real life. When I saw it on the model and when I see it on myself and other people wearing this foundation, it covers so good the coverage is so good but here's the thing and here's the selling point y'all it doesn't look like caked up it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup it really blends into your skin and just makes it gives it that butter-esque quality all right and when people see you it's literally like they just want to ask what products do you use what's your skincare regimen like because it, it literally mimics your skin it looks like you just have really good skin it doesn't give wearing makeup this is not her real skin um so that's one thing i love 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 about this foundation again 
I'm not sure if that's translating on camera, but in real life, definitely the coverage is such that it just gives good skin, buttery skin, good quality, high quality, 4K skin, okay? It's just, it's, the finish is good quality. So if you have dry skin, um, they recommend that you go for the creamier um, foundation stick. And for me, because y'all, I tend to get sweaty, especially oily, especially in hotter weather, okay? Um, so I got the cream to powder uh, foundation. It is a cream, but it finishes off as a more matte kind of powder um, foundation. So this is what it looks like. Flory Roberts, you can see it. Okay, MR. it retails for $30. It retails for $30. And like I said, when I went into store that day, they were having lots of promotions. So I did purchase it for $30. But, yay! I got a free makeup brush, a free foundation brush okay there you can see a branded flory roberts oh my goodness y'all know y'all know you cannot have too many makeup brushes okay come on come on you know what i mean so i was so happy to for free along when i purchased um the compact foundation i got a brush along with it as well now i've used the brush so you can see that there's some foundation on it um but Otherwise, the bristles of the brush are actually white. The brown that you're seeing on is because I actually used some of the foundation um, using that brush today. So let's get into it, okay? She's a cute little compact honey. She can fit into your purse. So that's a cool thing. You're not going to find her in your bag just opened. Um, so she also comes with um, a mirror, first of all. I'll show you the mirror. But she comes with like a little spongy, which I did use to set um, the highlights. Okay, I know you see the cute um, Instagram and TikTok girlies when they're setting their highlight with the little spongies. Okay, so that's what I mean. I'm not, I didn't apply the makeup, uh, the foundation with the sponge, but I did use it to set my highlighter. So she also comes with a mirror, okay? She comes with a mirror. So, I mean, obviously, if you're out in public and you want to retouch, I wear, I wear specs. So sometimes what I find is if I've been wearing my specs and they hang about somewhere here on onto my face or my cheek space, all right, when I want to take pictures with my glasses off, I sometimes find that the makeup or the foundation I've applied on that area has been eaten up by my glasses. So sometimes I just need to go in and touch up that area with foundation. So I mean, you can do that on the go with the mirror that they provide. Okay, so that's... That's the foundation, y'all. That is the foundation. She's a nice matte finish that looks like skin. In real life, it's giving skin. It's giving what? Buttery glow. That's literally what it does. So retails for $30. Um, when I was in store, they were having a promotion. Guys, can you, are you seeing the Jasmine from Aladdin? This is Jasmine from Aladdin. I'm so proud of this look. Anyway, so particularly i don't know if the promotion is still on y'all you want to go and hurry and get your foundation let me get rid of this plastic because she gonna you know so oh my gosh get your foundation and foundation brush so that's the um complexion done okay the the concealer that i use for this look is not a flory roberts concealer okay it's a revlon concealer however i did use their spoolies I got a spoolie uh, for just brushing my eyebrows up. Oh, baby, one thing I love, also not from Flory Roberts, this pencil, okay, from Black Opal. Yo! First of all, she wears and applies and glides so easily. That's why I have like three of these now. They're like my third one. I don't want to wait until I'm out of the pencil and, and rushing to town or wherever else. And I, I'm going to make sure when I change purses. There's one in every purse, every, so I'm just gonna, okay, again, this one is not from Flory Roberts, but again, the application, are you seeing the color, just intense color with one glide, and she, she's so smooth, she feels so nice, she feels so creamy, and so that's also what I use on my eyebrows, I'll use a brown eyeliner slash lip pencil, I have purchased this double-sided brush, Flory Roberts, okay, there's a spoolie, use that to clean up my eyebrows and then the other side is a concealer brush so i did use that to help um go in and clean up the parts of my eyebrows where i didn't want you know 
extra little hairs and pencil where I might have drawn incorrectly. So I used these two, Black Opal Pencil and Flory Roberts, um, to clean up the eyebrows and to just shape them. And for the setting powder, y'all, this one is from Signature. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be so completely honest with y'all. <laughs> I have known Signature products. I've known the shop Signature uh, Makeup and Fragrance House since high school. And they were never a brand, brand that impressed me. The only thing to date that I can highly recommend from Signature is their setting powder. This setting powder is so good. It is so good. I, I will rave about this and I will say for this one thing, go to Signature. It, it is so good. Okay, so that's all I'm going to talk about. It's a Signature Translucent Face Powder and it retails, I can't remember. I actually got it for my sister. Let's get into the lip a little bit. Let's talk about the lip and then we'll talk about the eyes. Um, so at Flora and Roberts, they don't sell lashes. So these lashes are not from there, okay? Um, I got these from Favor, Favor Beauty. This is what the package looks like. You get a set of three. A bit dramatic. <laughs> I normally like my lashes to be more natural looking than dramatic and out there, but hey, every once in a while, every once in a while, yes, I'm just trying to look for the glue. So I do find magnetic lash lashes easier to apply than regular lashes or else I would be standing in the mirror fighting with these lashes for about an hour and, and running late. Here's the glue. This is what the glue looks like. This application method has saved me. So much time when I put on lashes. Lashes used to be the worst enemy. So um, the previous time, the first time I happened upon Flory Roberts, I had purchased, um, along with the fragrance, I'll show you the fragrance, I purchased these two little <laughs> cute um, blenders, okay? So I used this to get into the smaller parts, okay? Can I just say I'm quite happy with the quality of these brushes, all right? I've had some really dingy brushes whereby, you know, you use it for a couple of months and you can already feel like the head is wobbly and like I'm happy with the quality of the brushes from this brand so far. Of course, I've seen the makeup girlies on TikTok and Instagram using the smaller ones. When I tell you it is absolutely worth the hype because the smaller ones can really fit into the tight corners of the eye. Whereas the big one, yeah, it roughly does the job. You can get a decent blend, but this is precise. Totally worth the extra purchase from Flory Roberts. Um, they retailed for, I don't want to lie, but I think it was a dollar for two, if I remember correctly, at the time. This is actually the second to last item. So, although this was a makeup specialty month, all right, I was restocking a lot of my um, makeup items that had just, you know, needed some restocking. I do still have some good um, foundations, but I felt that this one was a good addition as well. So this one wasn't a restock, but it was like, I need you in my collection. Um, but what I definitely needed uh, was some new lipsticks and lip glosses, liquid lipsticks and glosses. So I got these four, okay? Now, only this one in the middle here is from Flory Roberts. The Flory Roberts um, Lip Glide. The Flory Roberts one retails for $15. And um, because when I went in store again, they were having promotions, so I copped this for ten dollars. Yeah, so I'm going to show you a real live wear test of what that looks like. But let's get into the other three that I also purchased. So I went around to Eastgate Market. Huda Beauty has been the dominating Arabic uh, makeup house. But so with your with your brands like Poudier, there's another one called Foera that's coming up. I actually have the Foera primer and foundation. My skin loves. Okay. Foera is another one. So let's get into these Poudier lip colors, okay? This is how it's spelled, okay? Poudier, 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 I hope y'all can see. So this is color seven. This is the color seven. I hope I'm holding it the right way up so that y'all can see. So I'm going to do like a swatch on my hand so you can see the richness. I was so excited, you guys. I've been down and out on my lipsticks. I think I have like one or two lip colors that I, I, I have left that I trust. It was really about time some new colors of it guys are you i know you see that don't pretend to check that out y'all are you seeing this that's so pretty that's such a pretty pigment so that's like the poudier poudier brand let's see the next one y'all so that's color seven this one is color 11 i just want to show you it's a different shade so i'm going to swatch it right next to that one there let's see look at the richness y'all look 
I guess I when I say I can't wait, I can't wait to wear these. No, no, no. Okay, so I got these from Poudier. Um, they retail for three dollars each. This one is, was also three dollars um, from a company called Pop Feel, and it finishes off in a matte. It's a matte lip cream. The other two are not matte, as you can see. It's a glossy. So what we're gonna do there? We're gonna swatch it just next to those two, and be yay <gasps> you guys lately i've been into very into like the coffee burnt orange vibe so i'm just gonna give you a live where oh my god i don't know i'm not too crazy about the way it smells it smells kind of chemically with the Flory roberts um glaze so this one has some shimmer Um, of course, for the eyes, y'all, for the eyes, I had, you know, other brushes. I used the Saharan Palette by Juvia's Place. That is so hard for me to say, Saharan Palette, Saharan Palette, you know. I use a combination of, like, this shade and these two to set after I go in with, like, this loose powder, translucent loose powder. I will go in on the highlighted areas of my face, and I'll use shade one here in the middle, corner, middle, and these two mix it all together and just set the light parts where I would have concealer. Um, so there's this perfume called My Bloom Floral, obviously from the name Bloom Flowers Bloom. How much is left? So this is basically like my daily fragrance when I go to work, when I go to church. It's kind of a good fit for a lot of occasions. I usually don't change her unless I'm really just feeling so very different that day which is once in a while but for the most part she's my daily this is the restock i got this is the box that it comes in simple it does what it needs to do okay so i haven't started using this one yet but i just had to stop when i tell you i'm discovering about myself that what really gets me about a good cologne is florals i love florals um, I do like well-balanced fragrances. I like a good balance of like mystery. I also like some groundedness, some earthy flavors and elements in there. Whether it's like a little bit of hint of vanilla or like a hint of um, some cinnamon, some spiciness. I like a good balance. I like some sweetness, but I especially love if there if the leading element is a floral tone. Then I'm very happy. As you can see, this normally retails for $15 for 20. It normally retails for $20. I got it in store on promotion for 15. So y'all, I'm not saying you should go there, but I am saying you're going to miss out if you don't. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you want to think about it. I'm saying you, you really want to think about it. Without any further ado as well, let's get into this hair. I had a colleague at work. We were sitting down and having some tea. And he said to me that like, how do you make your hair do that? Like, it's so cool. I how to answer. I was like, I don't mean. Okay, first of all, first of all, I was like, I was like, I don't. I'm not making my hair do anything. It's naturally, naturally, Afro hair defies gravity, right? It grows upwards and outwards. I'm not making. <laughs> I'm not making my hair do anything. It's naturally poof. It's naturally like cotton candy. That's its natural. So I was kind of lost for words a little bit in terms of how to answer that. I want to know how I get a poofy, looking all elegant, Miss Jasmine from Aladdin. It's really very simple, actually. So what I've done, y'all, and so I know a lot of y'all have followed my journey. Uh, at some point, I was tired of the natural hair I cut off. I had a short, relaxed, honey blonde phase, and I was like growing my hair out again. I've experienced a lot of breakage since. I think it has been, has it been four years since I cut my hair? I think about four years since I cut my hair. The first two years, there was rapid growth. I'm talking about we were by uh, breast length. I'll insert a little clip. But yeah, for the benefit of those who haven't been on this journey, um, I have experienced breakage and my hair also tends to shrink up a lot since I've moved, which I'm okay with. I mean, it's, 
gonna have different textures and different things and I'm just still learning to manage it in a different climate and manage the breakage situation because I've always been able to grow my hair back so it's just hair at the end of the day I mean I love it it's good to be creative and like work with it, but it's also at the end it's not that deep for me anyway so the hairstyle is very simple okay again I'm not sure it's translating what it needs to in real life a lot of people have told me elegant this is beautiful he said miss nimbia you look like zimbabwean royalty today You're telling me that i don't normally look like royalty you always look stylish we know you always put effort into your appearance your outfit you look presentable all the time but the natural hair is what is giving african queen and i said oh thank you so much so i've had a lot of comments and a lot of looks a lot of people asking me is that your real hair like is that all your real hair and y'all another reason why i've been he hesitant to wear my hair out naturally is because when i panic i've been through some anxiety attacks and i ended up getting like a lot of grays i don't know if the camera is gonna be as honest as it is in real life but i ended up getting quite a few grays for my age and i'm like not that old so for the longest time, I think about a year now, I've also shied away away from wearing my natural hair just because I've been embarrassed. But, you know, I decided, you know what, it is what it is. I want it to be very simple and easy to get up in the morning and like do this style, look good, look professional, and still unique and out the door. So let's get into it. It's basically two very poofy braids, okay? I don't know if y'all have seen that. I just wait to start braiding my hair until like the very tippy end. Okay, this is this is the hairstyle. Um, so if we're to do like a, a hair length measure, she's somewhere around, yeah, she's still somewhere around boob length. Um, and I know the ends are, are quite thin in this ponytail. Maybe I should like undo it for you, but I'll do that once I show you and explain. Um, so once I have the very loose braid, like this i'm just gonna go and like create a little curvature there to my liking and pin it down i'm gonna tuck obviously the braid so that at the back it's not just there i'm gonna try to be a little bit creative with it and you know create the poofiness level that i want and there we go that's the one side the other side i'm gonna take my loose braid and create the kind of level poofiness i want roll up the little braid i'm out the door with this hairstyle in in minutes this is it but of course it's important to remember to moisturize your hair moisture we've all seen plants and trees whose leaves have fallen off in the desert and they're dry and thirsty for water i'm in certain clips you need to moisturize your hair try to do it either the night before and then leave it in a stretched state put it in twists and then sleep then you can style your hair tomorrow in a stretchier state and ready to, to to be in these loose ponytails pinned up for the day i'll take the front part of my hair okay as its own section so i'm basically basically kind of dividing my hair into half okay half the front part and the back part so this whole front part will be one and then at the back I basically split that in half like that so this is going to be two parts of the braid so what I'm going to do I'm going to pulling all three sections kind of in a downward motion I'm going to put this front one back and that one and then just start to braid but like at a level where I think enough poofiness has been established. So, and I'm not braiding too tightly either, right? The braid is also kind of loose, but firm. It should not unravel. So yeah, we're just gonna braid until, until, until. So that's the basic idea, you guys. Just braiding that, and then when I'm happy with it, you know, you kind of want to think about how you put your pin there, okay? And then pull that up. And then, and baby, there is your creative, very simple, five minute, five minute, less than five minutes. What I 
love about this style is there's variations. You can leave out some of the front hairs. So if this level of poofiness is too much, braid, 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 but maybe we don't want it as tight, right? So we're starting to braid somewhere about this middle part here. It's a bit right. Again, I'm just braiding kind of loosely. So can you see that I've started braiding a bit higher up than where I was before? And so you can control the level of poofiness or you can do your own variation. You want it tighter, okay? And you want it like that. So the variations, if you want to leave one side up, out, but the other one pinned in. It does have that, it has those. Then I seal it with an oil. I seal it with jojoba oil, which is like the sebum that our hair and skin naturally produces to moisturize itself. Jojoba mimics the sebum that our hair and skin naturally uh, produces. So I will seal in with some jojoba oil and then I twist it up. I go wash up, put on lotion on my body, put on my clothes that I'm wearing for the day and then unravel the twist and style in whatever desired style. So guys, that is the look. And it's a simple but classy, elegant, updo, you know here what i like to do is make sure that there's a a bit of a definition or like a, a a demarcation of like the upper poofy part and the so i'll just like fold out the braid and separate make sure that those sections are kind of more distinct i don't know if you all can see what i did i just pulled from the braid a bit more so that the lower section is its own kind of poof um, so yeah that's what i do So I hope I've given y'all some ideas, y'all. I hope I've given y'all some ideas. Until next time, y'all. I've talked and talked and talked. I hope you've learned something. And uh, please do, please do come chill with me soon again. And please do be going to Flory Roberts for some amazing, reasonably well-priced, well-wearing makeup products. Don't just do it because I told you to go there. Do it because I'm telling you they're good and you can see it. You can see the color payoff. You can see. You can see, baby. You can see. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. peace out and love. Catch you the next time. Okay, Rassy. I still